Strikers. This is Coach Chris here to help guide all of you through all the exercises, techniques, and forms for what we are going to be doing for the early off-season conditioning program. All right, so be ready. Concentration is very important. Let's get started. All right, so just started off in the go to squat. We want to start with the feet first. So look, toes are already somewhat pointed in. And then once we get into this position, we want to make sure our heels start going away from the center of our body. And look, start leaning my body over the knees and I get down low, almost to a 90 degree angle. Poke my chest out, stick my butt out, and making sure that my heels are off the ground, forcing all of the weight onto both legs, the last three toes on each side. functional training that we're going to be doing for specific body parts we're going to go into the go to lunge so you're going to take one foot back step it back and then notice again both heels are always off the ground i'm putting all my weight onto the last three toes of the front leg rotating my upper chest towards the leg that is in front now if you notice at the back leg the knee is turned and rotating inwards towards the body leading the back heel away and this is going to help overload and put most of the impact within through the hip, which should take most of the force as opposed to the knee or the ankle. Before stepping into these exercises, it's very, very important to know how we move when we're running. Because we want to try and mimic those movements and work the specific muscle that we are going to work. Very specific according to the movements that we naturally do. So in terms of the decline, which is working the lower chest, you can have either, if you go to the gym, use a, a cable or resistance band. So as we're running, our body rotates. We wanna strengthen that rotation so that way we create fluid movement within our running patterns and then give it a little bit more explosive, a little bit more endurance and go from there. All right, so we get into this go to lunge right here. So notice my chest is more towards the outside and getting ready to rotate. My palm is gonna be facing forward, all right? So then when I bring this across, I rotate the body, and then now my chest is over my knee as I'm leaning forward, contracting the lower pec, and then doing very, very slow and controlled movements. So that way we can get this rep in correctly. So just make sure you're rotating, and again, we're working proprioception, which is stability, and working the muscle. All right, now for this exercise, we're working the middle part of the chest. Same thing, I have this device here at my house. I don't know if people have it, but this is what I'm gonna to use to show the example. So again, you get into this lunge position, and then you rotate away from the front knee, and then you bring it across. Again, you wanna mimic the movement of running while engaging the muscles that you need. All right, now for the last chest exercise, we're going to work up the upper chest. So again, we are going to get into that go to lunge position. And again, we are going to put our chest towards where the cable usually is. And then as we rotate, it's always going to go towards the front knee, which is then going to cause that out I need to push on the outside. All right, so we'll start just with a couple of reps. Come and then drive the wrist upwards and across your body the best that you can to really engage those muscles. Keep the elbow locked and rotate through the shoulder 
as you can see, we're not only working the upper chest, but also the anterior parts. All right, now for this back exercise, we're not gonna go through the pull-ups, because I'm sure all of you guys know what pull-ups are. Now we're gonna go straight into the barbell row. So again, we're gonna make sure that we drop low, allow most of the weight, depending on how heavy you're gonna go. I'm not gonna go heavy here, just so you guys can see the form. We come up, again, heels off the ground, and I go to squat, leaning forward as much as possible, pushing the butt up, and you bring it to your lower chest as much as possible. All right, as tempo lifting, we wanna make sure that we are moving nice and slow to engage more muscle fiber within the movement. All right, now for this exercise, is a single arm cable row. Where we have on a V all right, so this one's a little bit different as we are rotating away. So this is going to be working the same arm as the legs in front of you. So that we can add that rotation and movement to get the best out of this exercise. So it should be right arm, right leg. And then really try and drive that elbow as far back and across the back as possible to get the proper contractions necessary. And always try to lean forward. I know this feels like a backwards movement, but let's try not to pull backwards and move backwards. Keep the body leaning forward and just literally move through rotation and driving the elbow towards the back. All right, so now we are going to be doing go to deadlifts. Now, most deadlifts, from what I see, or power lifters, they all have their feet wider than shoulder width apart. We're doing the sumo. And at least for us, that play soccer, it's not really good for the knees, hips, or ankles. All right, so it's very, very important that we keep the form of the goda, toes pointed in, and then we go down with the knees pointed out. Okay, so I'm gonna step forward here. Again, I'm not gonna have that much weight, so that way we can focus on the form more than anything. Okay, so keep the feet close. The best reference is use this nice little cut apart of the bar to have the place of the feet. Chest up. As you go down, knees apart. Go ahead and grab, and then push. Okay, so in this deadlift, we're not gonna go all the way standing up because then that's gonna train our body to go only reverse locomotive. And we need to train our body going forward locomotive. So we come from the lowest point to the highest point. This is where we're gonna stop right above the kneecaps. And I'm gonna go down as low as we can, and then up. Notice that my body is always leaning over my legs. I'm putting a lot of pressure into my hips, and then I go and translates the energy into my feet as well. All right, now we're gonna go to our other temple lifting day, where we're gonna be doing starting off with the curls. Okay, so here we are gonna start off in a good lunge, get in proper position, leaning forward. It's always gonna be the opposite arm that's gonna be working from the opposite leg. So one arm is gonna be holding the weight isometrically, and then we're gonna do palm facing up, curls. Once you do 10 to 12 reps, you go ahead and switch, rotation, and then we work the other side. All right, now for the second set, it's reverse curls. So it's gonna be back of the hand facing up. So again, we get into our go to position. Hold like if we were in a running position. And then a little bit of rotation there. So that way we're isolating that bicep and then working that rotation still. So that way it stays functional to engage in the core. Now we're going to do the overhead tricep extensions. So back into that go to lunge that we've been doing so far. It's going to be double just like when we're doing a soccer throwing. So we're just going to mimic that movement. Try and please pick a weight that helps you fail within the 10 to 12 rep range. All right, I'm using these nice little pink ones just to focus on the top. For this next one, it's going to be reverse tricep extension within the go lunge. So here, this rotation is going to be a bit different. Okay, so again, we want to mimic the movements. So 
So it's gonna be same arm, same leg on the side. So then when we go, we go and work that tricep extension. So we're gonna over exaggerate this movement. Have that arm go all the way back as possible and work that rotation. So again, we're working the obliques, we're working on stability with the lower body, and we're working the tricep as needed. Now for the last body part, shoulders, okay? So here, depending on the angle of the wrist, is gonna help engage this muscle a little bit more. So we're gonna work the anterior delt right here. Again, with the forward motion of running. So we're gonna come, pretend we have no elbow, palm facing down, and really drive and control those weights as much as possible. And we're gonna exaggerate those movements so that way we can really work and go from there. All right, now for this last one, it's the lateral raises in a go to squat. So we get in our proper form, See how my toes are pointing towards together, very close, we get nice and low. And then here, it's not mimicking the movement, but making sure that we're engaged the lower body, core and stability, while controlling the weights and the lead that. Right, for the walking lunges, for the most part, people will do it with their body straight, going down and walking trying to balance and distribute the weight equal on both legs. You want to try and avoid doing that because the back leg is simply to push off and continue the forward movement. So we're going to mainly focus and lean on that front leg just like we've been doing the entire time with the go to lunge. And now we're moving forward and walking. Look, I go down with the weights and then when I come up, look, there's a slight lean forward towards the front leg. And then as I come up, I rotate. As I rotate, See how this knee points away from the body, my back heel points away. And then I switch, go down, leaning on my front leg, knee coming close to the heel, up and rotate. 